everyone, today we're making hexes. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm making my quilt as you go hexagon quilt. Each hexagon is a quilt piece that will be a completely quilted block. We'll then connect other completely quilted blocks by sewing them together. And once we do that, we'll have a quilt. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to start with a hexagon quilt template. I bought this set on Amazon. It has three pieces that nest together. We won't be using the centerpiece for this project, but I think it would be really cute to make little mini quilted hexes in the future at some point. But for now, we'll be using the two inch and three inch templates. Incidentally, hexagon sizes are expressed by the measurement of a side. So a two inch hexagon actually measures 4.5 inches from point to point, but because each side is two inches, that's how it's described. The two inch hexagon will be for the center and the three inch for the edge and back of the quilt. For the inside of the quilt, I'm using my favorite poodle fabric by Michael Miller. This is an out of print fabric and I really wish the company would make more, but for now, this is all we got. I made sure to position the template so that the poodle I wanted was framed in the center. Then I used a disappearing ink pen to outline the template, then I cut it out. I know that if I wanted to make this quilt quickly, I could just fold the fabric and rotary cut several pieces at once. But this isn't that kind of a quilt. I really wanted to take my time and make this quilt special. I want to center designs and add details and this may make the project take longer, but I think it'll be a better quality quilt in the end. For the border slash backing, I initially chose this vintage reproduction bubble print, but I changed my mind and went with another vintage style print I had on hand. This one has little daisies on it. When comparing these two options, I felt that the daisies matched the poodle design much better. For the batting, I'm using dream cotton batting which is 100% cotton, but it's also very thin. So I'm going to double it. To construct our hexi block, we'll start by stacking our back piece wrong side up. Then we'll center the large template on top. This will make sure that our pieces are centered inside. We'll put in our two pieces of batting and our top piece. Then I removed the template and pinned the layers together. Next, I folded the top edge until it met the inner stack. Then I ironed it in place. Then I folded it over again and ironed it again. Using a needle and thread, I basted the fabric in place. And then I just went around the hexagon repeating this process until all the sides were basted down. Now I've been sewing for over 20 years. I know that there are many faster ways to make quilt blocks. I could just pin the sides down and run the machine around the hexagon and that would be the finished product. But speed is not what I'm going for here. I want a well-made, well thought out, hand sewn and hand quilted quilt. And that means taking the time to do these extra steps. Some of my other goals for this quilt are that each hexagon quilt piece has to be unique and they have to be made up of fabrics I absolutely love. And of course I want everything to be 100% cotton. This quilt isn't going to have an overall theme, rather each hexagon will have its own color palette and theme, but it won't necessarily relate to the whole. So it'll be more like a patchwork quilt in that respect. Okay, so after I basted the hexagon, I sewed around the edges using a needle and thread. Once that was finished, I removed the basting thread. Next, I hand quilted around the outline of the poodle. Then I used a disappearing ink pen to draw a squiggly line around the hexagon and I hand quilted that too. I 
I also drew squiggly lines and quilted around the border of the hexagon, but I won't be doing that in the future. I think it'll be much better to quilt the edges once I'm connecting the hexagon pieces together. And our first hexi is finished. For our second hexagon, I'm using this vintage style flower print. I positioned the two inch hexagon template on the fabric and cut out the piece. For the backing, I chose this vintage style green floral fabric. I really think it complements the front piece. I cut out the cotton batting and stacked and built the hexi just as before by folding, ironing, basting, and hand stitching. Then I quilted along the outlines of the design. Here they are, I'm really pleased with how they turned out. So now it's time to join the two pieces together. I placed both pieces with right sides together and sewed a ladder stitch down the side. But even though I made the stitches really small, I wasn't convinced that this was very sturdy. I thought that when I went ahead and quilted the edges of both pieces together like I planned, it would be more connected but I still didn't feel like it was very sturdy. So I went ahead and sewed the two pieces together with another simple stitch. So basically I went over this three times. And that's when I finally felt like the pieces were firmly attached. I'm not sure how I'll attach the pieces in the future. I may just continue with all three stitches, but uh, I feel like these are really connected now. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.